So if you're new to the Mac, perhaps you've moved from Windows, one of the things you want to know is where are all of your files? And I'm going to give you a quick rundown of where you can find them, how to create a new folder, and also how to delete them. We're going to copy them from a memory stick across as well, but you will see that it's the same as moving it if you were moving it from one folder to another as well. I'm also going to show you a neat trick using Quick View, which allows you to see files very quickly as well. So it speeds it up. And we're going to look at the different views as well, like columns and grids and so on. So when you get here, you are looking at your desktop and it's looking a bit empty. So where are your files? And what it is, is down here in the dock, you'll see there's the finder. Now, if you've been using Windows, you might be using File Explorer, My Computer, and so on. So what we're going to do is just click on Finder. So basically, whatever computer you've got, it stores files somewhere. And by opening up the Finder, it's opened up this window, and it has immediately taken me to the Documents section. And down the side here, this is the sidebar. And you can add shortcuts to the sidebar. But you'll see there's the Desktop, Documents, Downloads, and importantly, applications. So we want to have a look at installing some files in a later video. And you know, if you've just moved from Windows to Mac, you want to know how to say install and then add them to the doc down at the bottom. But at the moment, we're going to look at the documents. Now, you might want to get to these quicker than just down here on the Finder. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go into the Finder menu at the top. We're going to go to Preferences, and we're going to add something to our desktop. So when I do, you'll see it's got the hard disks here. So when I tick that, you'll see it's now got this Macintosh HD over here. And that is where I've got all my files as well. So if I double click on that, it shows me more things here. It's still got the sidebar. I could still go to Documents. So that's really where you want to be. Let's just close that. In the top left-hand corner on the Mac, you just have your cross here, and that will close it. So the other thing to make a note of here in the Finder Preferences is in the new Finder windows, when you open it, it's taking me automatically to Documents. You can click here and change it to something else. So maybe your desktop, your iCloud Drive, which is where you'd be storing stuff online, or perhaps Recents. You could even go to Other, if I click there, and choose another folder, could be applications or whatever, and then you would click on Choose. I'm going to click on Cancel. I'm going to stick with Documents. Just one other thing whilst we're here is the sidebar. And you'll see that the sidebar has a number of things ticked here, which includes AirDrop. We'll look at AirDrop another time where you can transfer using wireless from one device to another. This could be iPhone, iPad to your Mac, or Mac to Mac, and so on. But I would like to have my movies, music, and pictures switched on here. So let's just close that, and you'll now see on my sidebar I've got those there. And I can add to those too. Right, what we want to do is get some files into here. And I've got a memory stick right here. I'm just going to plug that in. And you're going to see it pop up on the desktop and also in the sidebar. So let me just plug that in. I can make this window bigger. I can click and drag this down. And you'll see here, that's my memory stick, Ox 2021. There it is. And I've got a number of folders in here. So you can see they're in a grid. I might want them to be in a list. And I do that by going up to the top here, clicking. I've got list, columns, and gallery. So let's just take a quick look. List put some down in a list like this by clicking on this little arrow here. I can expand and contract to see my files and you'll see I've got some here. We're going to transfer those. I can go to columns. So if you're a Windows user, this might look a little bit more familiar where you've got your folder here and then it appears going across left to right. You can see your folders. You're seeing I'm getting a little preview here as well. We're going to take a look at the other way to preview as well. And there is also gallery. Now, gallery is neat because if you've got pictures, let me just go back here, let's go to photos, let's go to my gallery view, and let me make that bigger. By the way, 
If you want any of these windows full screen, top left, you'll see this one here. It's got this double arrow on it. It says enter full screen. Click on that. It's now full screen. Down at the bottom, you'll see in this gallery view, it's got the other photos. And this, by using the arrow keys, is a quick way, and I could use the mouse as well, of moving backwards and forwards. And this is nice if you're looking at video as well. By the way, to come out of full screen here, go to the top, the bar will appear here and you can now click on that button there. You can either click on it or click on exit full screen. So there you go. So I tend to use columns. Okay, so I want to get these from here. This is the memory stick on to over here where my documents are. Now I can do this a couple of ways. So let's say I want these photos onto my documents right here. I can click and drag and drop it onto my documents here. And you'll see it's now copying it across. The other way I could do this is by opening up another finder window. Now there's a shortcut for it, but the way to do it is to go into file, new finder window, and I could have just used command N. So let's just click on that. I'm going to move it just by clicking and dragging at the top of the window. You'll now see the photos are there. I can now move something such as documents and maybe the video as well. So what I'm going to do is actually choose both. Now this can be in a column or a list or even in a grid. Actually it works in the gallery too. So let me just show you. If I click on say documents, hold down the command key, I can then click on another one. And by still holding down the command key, I can click on others too. The command key is still held down and I can click again to undo those. Let me undo both of those. Let's just go to the icon view. I called it grid view. It's icon view. Let me go to documents again, hold down the command key, go to video. I'm going to click and drag both of those across. So there you are, they're now copied across. That was actually really quick and I can see them there. Okay, so what if I want to have a new folder? Well, it's nice and easy. I can either go into file and choose new folder. I can then give it a name such as Gary. If I wanted to change it, I can just click. It highlights it, change it to GS. I could now go into my photos and maybe just choose one and put it in here. I've already got it, but I'm just showing you how to do it. So that's also how you can change a file name. I click here, click on again, and I can just change it to St. Paul's Steps. There we go, because that is a photo of people on the steps at St. Paul's. A neat little thing you can do is a quick view. What you can do is just press the space bar and it opens up, it springs out showing it to you. So if I go to photos here, click here, press the space bar, I can then either press the space bar again to close it, use the arrow keys to move through, and there you have it. And guess what? It works on all sorts of documents. Let me go over here. This is a Word document, press the space bar, and it opens. Click here again, press the space bar, and it opens that's a PDF. So it works with so many different things. When you do click on it, and we're going to get into opening files on that, but if you do do that, it's got open with Microsoft Word at the top there. So it's going to the default program. This one is open with preview, which is used for looking at photos and uh, PDFs as well. Although you can have other programs as well. It's just the current setup I've got on here. It works nicely. Let me just go over to video here. And if I press the space bar, you'll see it plays that video as well. So there you have it. Spacebar gives you quick view, really nice and easy to do that. Now, I want to do a couple of things. I'm going to close this window here. One, I want to eject my memory stick. Two ways I can do it. Here on the sidebar, you've got the little eject button and I can just click on it and it will eject. Or I have the memory stick here. By the way, if I want to get into the memory stick, double click on it takes me right into it. So any drives or folders or anything that are on here 
will come up on here. I can also just click and drag that down into the bin here. And if I do that, the moment I start dragging, you see it actually becomes an eject icon. Drop it over the top and that's ejected. So if I want to delete something, I can click and drag it. I can highlight more than one. Let's get some photos here. Let's just select a few. So I'm clicking on the first one. I can use the command key to select more or the shift key will get from the first one you highlight to the last one. So I'm clicking on this one here, DSC 1666. So let's click on that. I can click and drag that down to the bin. And you can see it's now got, uh, uh, and you can now see the bin has changed to look full. I can also go into file and choose move to bin. You'll see the shortcut there is command and the backspace key. You can do this with a right click as well, even if you've got multiple files selected. So just right click, move to bin. And that would work the same if I click on this folder. I'm not going to delete it, but right clicking it, move to bin, or I could use a shortcut or the other ways. So I've got files here in the bin. I can click on it and you can see them here. I can empty the bin by clicking on empty here. Or I can go into finder up at the top and choose empty bin. By doing that, they're permanently deleted. I can also select. I'm just drawing a box around it and it's selecting them. I can go into file and choose put back. Or I can right click and put back as well. By choosing put back, it's restoring them and putting them back into that folder where they came from. So I don't have to have the bin open to delete. I can close that. I'm going to finder, choose empty bin, or I can right click on the bin. And if you haven't got the right click switched on on your Mac, you can hold down the control key. Or I've got another video with a link below to show you how to switch the right click on whether you're using the trackpad or a mouse. Very handy actually. Let's go to empty bin. It's going to prompt me so you just get another chance to do that. And then go to empty bin. So one last thing before we finish, perhaps I want to have a folder permanently here on the sidebar so that it's easy to access. And what about if I want one on the desktop? Well, we're going to do that with this GS folder here. To put it on the sidebar is easy. I can just click. To put it on the sidebar is easy. I just click. To put it on the sidebar is easy. I just click and drag. To put it on the sidebar is easy. I just click. To put it on the sidebar is easy. I just click. To put it on the sidebar is easy. I just click. I'm going to put this folder GS here on the sidebar. I just click on it and then click and drag where I want it to go. So let's put it underneath documents. There it is. I can move it around if I want. I can right click and remove from sidebar. Let's keep it there. What if I want it on the desktop? Well, I can click on it, go into file and choose make alias. I could do this as well by right clicking. So making an alias is like a shortcut in Windows. So let's click on that. There it is. And I'm just going to press enter because it wants me to rename it. I'm going to click and drag it onto the desktop. I can then move it to wherever I want on the desktop. So now that I've moved it onto the desktop, I can rename it so I can click on it. And there we go. It's done. And you can tell it's an alias because it's got this little arrow in the bottom left hand corner. And I can just double click on that and it takes me directly to that folder for something that you might want to get to all the time. So I've shown you how to copy and by moving from say a memory stick to the computer, it automatically does a copy, but I could just move something as well. So if I click here, I can open up another window if I want. If it's on the same computer, I just, I just click and drag onto here and it's moved it across. So there you have it. That's a quick look at using the files and folders with the finder on your Mac. So if you've moved from Windows to Mac, you've got a little bit to just try and catch up on there. 
but you can see it's pretty straightforward. It's very similar to how you use it on Windows. If you want to open one, you can just double click on it. Don't forget you've got the quick view as well. So just like Windows, basically you're using the Finder to go and find where your files are. Thanks for watching. If this did help, please do like, share and subscribe. And I've got more videos as well if you're new to a Mac. Thanks for watching and take care.